Well, my friends, look what's here on the RC workstation. My new RC boat has finally came in. Now this thing is gonna be sweet. Now look at the packaging on this, my friends. This yellow packaging from uh, International Delivery Service. It's a delivery service like UPS and stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into this thing, tear it open, and show you the boat, all right? All right, so I'm gonna grab my uh, knife here and uh, we're cutting it open somehow, trying not to damage the box. Uh, the tape that's on this thing, hopefully I'm not cutting the box. I'd really like to save the, uh, the thing. Uh, well, uh, the front cover on it. Well, let's tip it over to the side so I can actually see. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. How about some scissors? Scissors will probably work a lot better on this, or else I don't end up cutting myself. So if you cut myself some scissors, but not, <laughs> not like that. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I'll get a star phone here, or some phone stuff. All right. Ah, uh, Christmas time. Nothing like getting a new RC and opening it up for the first time. Uh, here we go, my friends. If I can get it all off, good lord. Where's the scissors at? <laughs> all right. A lot of foam in here. Yeah. The RC Speedboat. This is the Feilum, Feilum RC Models. It's an RC Speedboat. Brushless, water cool. Uh, if I can get out of this thing. Uh, the packaging. It really picked it up. Oh, look, it's got a handle on it. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Boom. There we go, my friends. The Feilum RC model. Uh, RC racing boat, high speed boats, brushless motor version, water cool system. It also has the upright feature on it. So if this boat tips up uh, upside down in the water, uh, just with a push of the throttle there, it actually vert itself back up and run. So that's pretty awesome. Also has a low voltage feature. So that way you know, you know when your battery's about to go dead on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, turn to the other side, yes. There it is, the little flip thing. So if you flip it, and you, of course, yeah. Top speed is 50 kk or 50 kilometers. We should just go ahead and put miles per hour for us, you know, <laughs> for some of us who don't know what the 55 km is or what. <laughs> uh, 2.4 gig her controller included. It's a ready to run boat, so it has everything included. So let's go ahead and break up the box here. I think there's nothing else to look at. Oh. Oh, down here below shows what's inside the kit. You know, you get the controller, the charger, the battery, uh, the stand, and of course the boat. <laughs> All right, so let me straighten up the camera here so we can get a good view of me and the boat as well. All right, so do, 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 do. And, well, my friends, I think you're gonna like this. Oh, it is a beauty. It's about 24 inches long, just to kind of give that out there to you guys. Uh, uh, oh, oh, styrofoam. All right, so we got some parts here, which uh, we'll take a look at in just a minute, my friends. Uh, more styrofoam. So here it is, my friends. The racing boat. Pretty awesome. Made it ABS plastic. Nice, it's got this nice ca uh, carbon fiber uh, look to it here, kind of like a wrap. It's actually kind of in the plastic itself, but really nice. A look at the rear here. You got the speed blades, which are not metal. They're actually plastic. I thought these would actually be metal, but uh, I guess I got fooled on the picture there. Uh, we got our tabs here. Um, yeah, a rudder. The water cool pickup system, you see that. Get the camera to focus on this instead of me. <laughs> Look at this, very, very nice, my friends. Usually I, I had a uh, Pro Boat one that uh, the uh, Shot Runner or Wave Runner, <laughs> one of those, actually, oh, yeah, Impulse 26. I paid roughly around two, three hundred dollars for this. This right here was only $120. Well, after shipping costs, it was like $130. 
uh, for this boat. Now it's not bad for a brushless boat. I've seen plenty of videos of this thing running. It seems to do pretty well. So uh, let's take a look what's in here in the thing and uh, we'll set the boat up. Oh yeah, all right. Lots of stuff. So let's put the uh, thing on here. Looks like we got the instructions in there as well. <laughs> there it goes, the instructions. Of course, you know, we might need that. So let's see what's in there. Uh, shows uh, all the stuff, uh, the controller, uh, the do's and do not, uh, how to uh, I'll throw it in there, all, all that good stuff. Yeah, well, I'll read that in a little bit. Amazing. It's a slick little boat. I have to give it that. Slick little boat. And I can feel the batteries in there already. Uh, hey, actually, since we'll put the boat here just for temporarily. Yeah. You guys like that? That's my little uh, work stand there that I use to uh, work on my RCs with. And it makes great to work on uh, RC boats and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I did a video on that, so if you guys want to see that, I'll include a link down the below. Uh, below. All right, so we have the hatch here, which a little lock here on the back should pull it right off of there. Oh, nice and sealed. It has a double sealed on it, my friends. Let me bring the camera closer to y'all so you can actually see this boat instead of so far away. All right, so bear with me in just a moment. All right, so here's a better view of the boat, close up for you folks so you can see. Now, as I was saying, it has two lids. Uh, it has the top cover, and it has a cover to keep the water out. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, we'll bring it up a little bit here. Tip it to the side to show you guys. All right. So, we have the lid here. There's four little lock things on here. So, we're switching to the unlock position. Unlock, unlock, and unlock and uh, it should if I did it right I probably did not lock uh, we want to do unlock and unlock a little there we go <laughs> all right pull it off there we go my friends the inside of the boat you can see here show you it has a, uh, the brushless motor is a 2800, I think, 26 or 2800 KV, KV volt <laughs> uh, brushless motor. A little kind of tiny motor. It's got a motor mount there. There's the water cool lines right there. Uh, I'll zoom up the camera so maybe you guys can see. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And let's angle up the camera a little bit so you can guys can see. All right, so we got our servo up there, which is kind of like a miniature kind of servo. Uh, you know, does have digital portion, throttle, and steering, which is nice. Uh, we have the ESC, which is also water cooled as well. It comes right out of here, this little spot you see there. Uh, let's take a look at the battery, my friends. If I can pull it out of here, the Velcro. Ah, uh, that lovely sound of Velcro. How we all love that sound. <laughs> Alright, if I can get it out of there. Alright. So the battery's kind of like waterproof, as you can see this right here. Uh, see it, see it, see it, All right, see it. <laughs> uh, so we got Dean's connection on it. Uh, it's kind of a smaller battery than what I was kind of actually thinking of. <laughs> but uh, it is a 2200 milliamp 30C discharged 14.8 volts a four cell and uh, this is the only battery I have of this size versus my regular lipo battery so a little bit more smaller battery I wonder could I actually put a much longer battery in there so I don't have to buy any of these small ones but hey I don't know and uh, we got something here I don't know it says do not uh, do not throw away. Do not eat. Well, why put it in there if you can't eat it or th you know you can't throw it away? <laughs> uh, so uh, let's give a close-up view. So we got the shaft in there. Uh, pretty basic, simple stuff. Um, 
it kind of it reminds me of a uh, one of the Harbor Freight boats there. Kind of has that same setup as a Harbor Freight boat, really. But um, I've seen the videos of this thing. It runs pretty good. Uh, so yeah, there's not much to say inside. So uh, let me zoom back out. All right. So with that, we'll put the boat to the side. Boom to doom. I know, did I just say this is like a Harbor Freight boat? I guess. <laughs> but it's only for 130 bucks. Uh, and it, it is brushless and it does run pretty good from what I've seen, but we'll test that out as well. Let's see, we have this big old cardboard thing, uh, which I wanna say is the controller. Let's take a look at that. And, all right. Look at it. Da, 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 da. All right, we can throw this box to the floor. Oh wait, not yet. Can't throw it to the floor yet. We got some uh, another box in here. It is way down there. Ah, okay. Now we can toss that to the floor. Boom. What's in the white box? There's no. There's nothing. But I hear something rattling. All right, scissors. Scissors again. <laughs> All right, there you go. What's in the white box? Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> so uh, looks like we got uh, some extra props here, some tools, a little Allen key and a little wrench key to work on the the boat with. Uh, there's no one of the props. You get three of these props actually. Uh, there's the there's the third one. <laughs> All right, so we have our, that's it, nothing else. It's like a Cracker Jack box. Where's the prize? <laughs> All right, so we got our boat stand here, which is kind of basic plastic boat stand. That'd be cool. And then we have this little sucker here, which is the nose condom, the boat condom. <laughs> For the uh, for the boat here, it fits on the front. Uh, that way, it protects it. Now, I forgot to even say the model of it. It's the FT01, or no, FT011. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> how could I miss that? All right, uh, the controller. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right, it's a pretty standard controller here, my friends. Uh, Feels mm, plasticky, you know, stock. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a little hard to get here. <laughs> All right, yeah. Feels like if I drop this thing, it might just actually break. But uh, you know, it's got your steering trim, uh, steering trim, and STDR. So there's no like throttle trim on this. That's kind of oh yeah 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 st steering trim yeah no throttle trim on it well okay <laughs> but uh let's see uh oh look it's got a screw it's got a screw on it you can't get it out without having to take the little screw off but it takes six double a batteries six double a's really really most of our 2.4 controllers are coming with either battery packs or, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you know, four double A's, you know. Uh, it kind of looks like the Skyfly uh, controller, which is this one right here. Kind of looks almost like it. Oh, this one has a uh, rechargeable battery pack in it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you probably wonder about the big wheel. I'll let y'all know about that in another video coming up. All right, so let me put that back. So yeah, but uh, overall it looks great. It's great, great looking boat, you know, especially for the price I got it for. And there's also parts for it, so that's the good thing about it. So I know I can actually get parts for it. But yeah, uh, I think that's it, my friends. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So, I, I guess the next thing is to charge up the battery if it needs charging. Let's see, hang on. Let's find out if it does. I got my little battery tester here, which 
I gotta do a video on this. I, I, I did one, but it never made upload to the channel there. I don't know why, but let's find out. 67%. Yeah, you see that? 67%. Ah. So yes, yeah, so much slightly charged. I'll charge it back up. Also, oh, speaking about that, let me reach over here. And yeah, forgot about the charger. So uh, here we go. We got our balancing charger here for uh, for the uh, LiPo battery right there. And here you go, look at this. A, uh, this is the charging plug for it. And uh, the last time I looked, I'm in the US and we don't have these little pro things, whatever they are, the European style, we don't have this in America. So I couldn't use that charger if I wanted to. <laughs> Ain't that something. So uh, yeah, so if you're ever in Europe and stuff, you can actually use this. If you live in America, you can't. So you know what? Trash. That's all right. I got my own LiPo charger over there that I don't need, uh, that takes American, uh, <laughs> uh, American plugs. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, my friends. So let's get the battery charged up and take this thing out and see how it does. What the